Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial by CompTips and today I'll be showing you how to speed up your Windows XP and some cool things for Firefox that you should have. Ok, first off I'm going to start with how to speed up your Windows. It looks like I've got a mark but it's actually Windows XP. It's um, just a theme that I downloaded as you can see. Microsoft Windows XP Professional Version 2002 Service Pack 2. Ok, now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start and run. And in run, in this this will pop up, just type in ms config. Then it'll load for what, and then you get this. Now um, in this you want to go to start up, and here you'll see all these different startup files. And what you want to do is you want to go through all these and just uncheck the ones that you don't need like um, let's see one that I don't need let's say I don't want daemon tools to start up or VO client um, yeah and then you just click apply if you, it normally says what here what they are but if um, there are some that you don't know like um, QC WLI con you just go to go to uh, go to your browser and search it in Google so go to google.com and then type in QC Google search that and it will come up with um, what it is. And just click on the normally the first or second link will come up with it. And as you can see it's um my wireless thing for IBM for my laptop. So um you wouldn't want to uncheck that. You just wanna if you're unsure of what it is, then um I suggest Googling it before you uncheck it because um it could be something that's vital to your PC like you wouldn't want to uncheck um, system this one or um, yeah just just check them before you go through them there's another one called services if you go you uncheck some of these you can um, Some of them, some of them. Um, if you don't know what they are, again, just Google them. Um, there's a list of services. Yeah, if you go on to beamerworld.com slash tips slash services dot exp dot xp, um, I'll post these links up so you can see. But you can, um, yeah, it's not exactly hard just make sure you don't do anything that can um, break your computer um, and um, yeah that's how you do that that's a um, quick and easy way to speed up your PC um, right some stuff for Firefox that you should have um, tiny menu. What this does is um, it puts all your icons in, all your menus into one. So like you just get this one menu icon. You've got all your file, um, edit stuff like that. Yeah, it's um, just makes it more compact. And um, as you can see, I've got everything on one bar. I've just got nothing else. If you want to get that, you just right click and click on customize. You can just um, you get this that pops up. You just drag them on and do that drag them back off if you don't want them you rearrange them in um, whatever order you want like normally I'd have quite a few two bars up because I've got I have the image shack toolbar stumble upon 
bookmarks, which don't have anything on, Google toolbar, navigation, hmm? navigation toolbar, and um, it just takes up a lot of space. So what I tend to do is I just have everything. You can just once you've cu once you click customize, you can drag everything around. Like you could bring the navigation bar down here and just leave the Google toolbar up there or whatever you want. Um, it just makes it more compact, easier to use. So yeah, that's a pretty cool add-on to have for Firefox. Um, another thing is stylish. I may have noticed earlier when I was um, in Google that it's all black. Now um, this is what it does, stylish. Um, basically, what it does is a uh, program, and um, you can t you take you can either design your own CSS code, and it'll just change the look of it. Um, but you can also get ones that are pre-designed if you go to user. Org. and then click site styles and you've got all these sites that it's um, applicable with so if you go to google.com you've got tons, absolutely tons of um, themes that you can download well yeah just loads of scripts and um, the one um, that I like the most is um, this one dark grey redesign I'll post a direct link to this one but if you want to go back you can just go to um, user styles.org um, also, you want to check that if you're not in the US, you change the Google.com part to whatever your normal Google is. So for mine, it's I've got you got to change all the wherever Google.com appears, you've got to change it to whatever. So I had to change it to Google.co.uk. Um, and if you go onto this one, which I post, it also has um, to change the image search and Google video search. Um, there's also one if you go back to the site styles you can change YouTube um, there's one I like this one but it's not it looks good on the, the thing and I've seen people using it without any problems but for me it's um, not worked so you can just try it out yourself and see what happens um, yeah when you when you find one you want you just click yep, load um, there's another button that comes up here because I've already got this on but I'm not actually using it um, it'll say um, load in stylish or something like that and you just click that button and a text box will pop up um, I'll show you real quick see so yeah, some most of them will give you a preview you just click load in stylish and you'll get this box it'll start off with um, the basic view like this and it just says what you're making the changes to you click advance you can see the code and this is where you'd make all the changes to google.co.uk if you have to just click save and it'll um, save the script so yeah it's really cool um, the other sites that um, I want you to see uh, google file search this is a really cool website. You can uh, it just searches like that MP3 goal in my first tutorial. It just searches Google for all these um, different file types. So you can search for torrents, applications, fonts, and all that sort of stuff. So you could say, say you wanted to search for a uh, font, and you could just search um, fonts and it comes up with all these different links in Google for the fonts and yeah it's a really really useful thing if you want to find anything quickly um, the only problem is uh, sometimes when you visit it you'll get a, 
um, an advert, but you can just skip that.